Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Quick question. Quick question, all right? So just from what you've heard so far, right? Does God love all people? Huh? I would say no. You would say no, right? So let me help you with that because what you're hearing now is the truth that your pastor should be teaching you, right? These are what church should be showing us. But the Lord showed us in the Bible, right? So let's ask you from what you heard, does God love everybody? Let me show you from God Himself, right? From His word, right? Listen to this. Second Ashes, chapter 6. And verse 54. Uh -huh. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. So you believe, you know, we all came from Adam and Eve, right? Hey, bro, we all came from Adam and Eve, right? You know that, right? That's what, read that again from the top. Second Ashes, chapter 6, and verse 54. Uh -huh. And after these, also, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. We all came from Adam and Eve, right? right. Now read on. And the people also uh -huh. whom thou hast chosen. What does that sound like? We all came from Adam and the people whom God has chosen. That's a difference. God is making a difference already, right? There's a difference between everyone and those whom God chose, right? Read on. All this have I spoken before thee, mm -hmm. O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. So the world was made for those whom God chose. That's right. The whole world, the earth, the, the earth is standing on, the sun, the moon, the wind, the water, was made for you. That's right. Those whom God chose. This whole planet belongs to you by right. Bring it out. Right? You are not meant to serve others. The nations are supposed to serve you. That's right. Because they are here on your earth, on your world. By right, it's yours. Right? Read on. As for the other people. Now, what about the rest of the nations that God did not choose? Read. Which also come about. Because we all came from Adam like we established. Read on. Thou hast said uh -huh. that they are nothing. What? That they are or nothing. You hear that? God said that the white men, the Chinese, the Arab, the East Indian, they are what? They are nothing. That's what God said. Bring it they out. They are nothing. That's right. You see that? Now read on. But be like unto spittle. But be like what? Be like unto spittle. What is spittle? What is spittle? He said they be like unto what? Unto Spittle. What is spittle? Do you know what spittle is? That's spit. Oh, okay. Because no, I, he, he compared the other nations that are not your people unto what? Unto spittle. Like spit. He said they are nothing but spit to me. Read on. And has likened the abundance of them. So all of them put together, read, unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. It's nothing but a drop of water. See that? That's how. That's the truth about how God feels about them. Does God love them? Hell no. Bring it they are out. They nothing but spit. They are nothing but a drop of water. Now, what, how does He feel about us compared to them? Read on. And now, O oh Lord, mm -hmm. behold these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, they have always been nothing. They have always had a, rep a reputation of nothing to Him. Right? Read on have begun to be lords over us. Now they rule over us. Now they are our presidents, our senators, our governors, our police, our teachers. 
Now they are over us. They, are over, they control the food industry, the water, everything, the education. We have to go to them for every single thing. Why? Because we keep breaking God's commandments. That's what it all boils down to. We are serving punishment. We are serving slavery. We are broken. We are on the bottom. Why? Because we keep breaking God's commandments. Right? Read on. And to devour us. Uh -huh. But we, but us, the Israelites, which you all read, thy people, your people, the other nations are not God's people. We are God's people. That's right. right. Read. Whom thou hast called thy firstborn. We are his firstborn. We are more than just his people. We are his firstborn. What else? Thy only begotten. We are his only begotten. Read on. And thy fervent lover. Your fervent lover. That's what you are to God. The other nations are nothing. You are his fervent lover. You are his only people. Right? Of what? Are given mm -hmm. into their hands. So now we are gone into slavery. Now we are in captivity. Why? For breaking, his, for breaking his commandments. Right? So what we're here to do is to show our people the truth of the gospel, the truth of the Bible. Right? That we're in captivity. We are scattered all over the world. Why? For breaking God's commandments. And we keep doing that up to this very day. Right? Yeah, everything y'all speaking about is stuff that I've already feel like I felt, like I uh -huh. felt it, I've already been aware of it, but didn't really know what to believe because of how I was brought up. So oh, all y'all doing is just solidifying things that I already felt like were okay. so true and things that I had already like, you know, tried to learn about, but y'all are just helping me learn more, so I appreciate it. Awesome. All right, so you got that? Yes, sir. Read it. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. So because today, what our people know about today is what? Halloween. Which was, which, which was taught to us by the oppressor, by our enemy, which is against God. Today is the Sabbath day. We stand between us, God's people, and God himself. We must keep today holy. We must not, we must not buy and sell today, right, or walk, or any of these foolishness that the heathen taught us, right? Halloween is not of the Bible. It is not of God. It's of the devil, yes, right? right? Read that. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Most High says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Today is the Sabbath day, right? Read on. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So, what does that mean? You have six days to make all your money, you have these six days to do whatever you have to do. Six days from what? From Sunday to Friday sundown. To do whatever you have to do, right? But on the Sabbath day, you're supposed to rest. No walk. No buying and selling, right? You're supposed to congregate with your people. Give me um, Leviticus 23. Leviticus 23. Because you're supposed to be with your people on the Sabbath day, right? We are here to show our people the laws that we're breaking. And that's why we stay on the bottom of the people. Leviticus. Chapter 23 and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Even these are my feasts. Verse 3. Six days shall thy work be done. So like I said earlier, you have six days to do all your, all your money making, all your work, and whatever you do on the, on the normal days, right? We have six days to do all that, read. But the seventh day. But the seventh day, which is today. The Sabbath day. Or the seventh day, read. Is the Sabbath of rest mm -hmm. and holy convocation. So today you're supposed to rest. Today you're supposed to, to, to holy what? And holy convocation. You're supposed to convocate with your people, right? These are the laws that we fail to, to keep today. These are, these are the laws that the Most High gave us to keep. But because you failed to keep these laws, now give me uh, Hosea 5 and 15. Hosea 5 and 15. Because what's going on these days, we're gonna go and vote for a president, right? But we, but we don't, we won't come back to God's laws. Why read? Hosea chapter five and verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge 
their offense uh -huh. and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. So the most High is basically saying, he will leave us alone and we will keep suffering. We will keep getting tormented. Right? Read that again from top. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Till we acknowledge our offense. Acknowledging our offense is not going out to vote. Acknowledging our offense is not picking the next oppressor to rule over you. Right? Because the Most High never said it for us to vote. We are here in the land of our captivity. Give me that Baruch 3 and 8. We are here to serve our punishment, to serve in captivity, why? For breaking his laws, until we acknowledge our offense. Right? Read that. The book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 38. 3 and 8. Three, three and eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this, this day in our captivity, Redon. Where thou has scattered us uh -huh. for a reproach mm -hmm. and a curse mm -hmm. and to be subject to payment. So that's, that's our condition today. That's our predicament today. Why? For breaking his laws. For breaking God's laws. And we're here thinking that we can vote an oppressor to make the conditions better for us. That is not going to happen. The Most High put these people over us to rule over us as punishment for breaking his laws. We have been here for over 400 years and we, we think that we can march and vote our way out of this condition. We are to be oppressed until we come back to God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Because what makes you think that your oppressor, your slave master, will give you the right to come out of to come out of his out of his power. What makes you think he'll give you the power to put him out of office? That's not what we're here for. Right? Give me Deuteronomy 30 and 1. Deuteronomy 30 and 1. We are God's chosen people and we are to live up to his standards. But for but for going against his laws, he put us in punishment and that's what we serve to this very day until we repent. That's right. Our hope is not in our oppressor. Our up. hope is not in voting. Nothing good will ever come out of, will ever come out for black people as long as we keep voting. Preach. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee. So the most high is the one who put us under this curse, right? And he says it shall, it shall come to pass, meaning what? Once you realize that you are a cursed people for, for going against his commandments, read on. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, mm -hmm. whether the Lord thy God hath driven thee, mm -hmm. and shalt return unto the Lord thy God. And shall do what? And shalt return unto the Lord thy God. Now how do we return to our God, read? And shall obey his voice. And do what? Obey his voice. Read on. According to all that I command thee this day. So the Most High gave us commandments to keep, and that's how you obey his voice. That's why we're here, for going against his commandments. So today, we think today is Halloween, and we're about to go full, full heartedly to go looking for candies, knocking on people's door. That, that foolishness was not what the Most High gave us to do. Bring it out. That is against God. Right. right? Today is the Sabbath day, and we are supposed to return and obey his voice and keep his commandments. We don't. Right, right. Thou and thy children, you and your children, you are supposed to come and learn this. Learn these laws, statutes, and commandments, and teach it to your children. Yes, right. We don't. With all thine heart mm -hmm. and with all thy soul, uh -huh. that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. He will do what? He will turn thy captivity. If you want to be saved, you keep the Lord's commandments. Yes, not right. by voting. Not by voting. Not by Halloween. Not go. Christmas. Yes. Not Father's Day or Mother's Day. If you want to be saved out of this captivity, black men, black women, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you have to keep God's commandments. Yes, that right. is the gospel. That's the truth. All right? Read that again. 
Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 3. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion on thee. And have compassion on you, Reed. And will return and gather thee from all the nations whether the Lord thy God has scattered thee. So once we, until we come back to these laws and commandments and start keeping them because this is our heritage. This, this, this is the expectation that the Most High has for us. He expects you, you so-called blacks, because you the Israelites. That is who you are. You are not black. Black is a color. You are not a color. You are not a hairstyle. Right. Afro-American is not who you are. You are the Israelites. The Most High says, once you realize that you are under a cost for breaking his laws, for breaking his laws, and come back and keep it his commandments, that that's when he will turn your captivity, right? Not by falling, because why? He already has a king over us. That's and right. our king is Christ. That's right. Give me that Matthew 2, Matthew 2 and 6. Matthew chapter 2 and verse 6. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people. Israel. Israel. So you so-called blacks, you the Israelites the Bible speaks of. And as we just read, your governor, your king is Christ. That's right. Your king is Christ. And he will come and save you once you come back to your laws, statutes, and commandments. That's when right. Christ comes back, is he going to find you keeping his laws? Gathered with his people, praying for salvation, praying for vengeance, or will he find you putting for a new king over you? Right? Christ is looking for his people to come together under his laws, statutes, and commandments before you get saved. Otherwise, black men, black women, you are not saved today. We are still in captivity. We are still in hell. We are still oppressed. We are still getting shut down by the police. We still get the worst food. McDonald's is nothing but poison. Teach. Nothing but poison. But there are a billion dollar company making their living off of no one else but black people. Bring it out. You don't see Chinese in, in McDonald's. You don't see the Arabs in McDonald's. Nothing but black people. Poison food for you for going against his laws. Right? Your king is Christ. That's Your right. ruler is Christ. That's right. Right? But you have to keep his law. Because when the black king cracked that sky, because he's coming, he's looking for you to be keeping his laws, gather kind of with these people. Right? So today, which is the Sabbath day, according to what we just read from God's laws, is the day of rest. No buying and selling. No working. You are to be gathered with your people. Keeping his laws to the commandments until Christ returns and saves you from his enemies. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.